All right, it's Andrew O'Donnell with Supercharged Stocks. I'm here with Liam Hardy and Spotlight Mining. Uh, we're enjoying the final day of uh, the AME, and I'm uh, real pleased to be here with uh, Robert Stewart, who's the founder of Geophysics Jamaica. And uh, how are you finding the conference? Loving it. Is, uh, this, is this your first time in Vancouver? No, no. no? I've, I've been to I've been to Roundup a couple of years before when we, when we started the company. Uh, this is the first year that we're exhibiting. Excellent. And you're a, an exploration company in Jamaica yeah. with a, a really important twist. So I'll let you tell us. That. Yeah, so we, we, we started the company almost three years ago and we rounded up a few friends in the industry with a lot of experience and sat down and said if we were going to start a from scratch exploration program in Jamaica or anywhere in the world, what are the, some of the things that you, if you had a clean sheet, how would you want to start it up? Uh, so we've started up with entirely sustainable and, um, and, and, and sort of a green approach mm. in terms of how we, how we um, do the exploration first of all and some of the techniques that we avoid and some of the techniques that we've centered heavily on uh, minimally invasive, uh, mostly a lot of geochem. We've done about 16,000 geochemical samples around the island but it's, it's all in case we've trained our teams to replace the sod and, and move around very gently. So I like that because uh, you live in Jamaica as well. Yeah, I was so you've born got in deep roots, born in, the, yeah. in and if you love the country, you love the land. Absolutely. So this is part of it. Is this real? Uh, we're seeing it a lot just in the general pop culture of the need for uh, governance, uh, sustainability. Yeah. But because this is also a smaller island, that's your island as well. Yeah. Is that there's such a big importance to keep it yeah. beautiful, as we can see. We've all grown up loving the mountains. All of our friends who I have to yeah. work with and who are in government or otherwise all feel the same way about the island. Yeah, and I think that kind of message. Of, of providing the metals towards the electrification of the future is that it can be done, and if it's done properly, regulated properly, correct, and uh, and uh, with the right techniques, which we have, yeah. and we can do. Yeah, uh, that is something younger generations would be open to. Yeah, I think that there's no question mining is very necessary, mm -hmm. and it's needed. You know, in almost every country, for every type of technology, every need that we have from day to day, from from what's over our head in the roof, um, but. It's got to be done in a way that respects the, the, the local population, the, the folks that should benefit from it in some way, and the folks that um, and, and the folks that have to live with it. Yeah. How are some of those conversations gone? I mean, I, I'm sure you very well. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Well. Yeah. I think that um, I think that uh, at all levels, from from the areas that the teams have been working, that I've been working, we've had very positive reception. Uh, all the way up to government. Good, because I, I would imagine that knowing it's a local, someone who's in the community who's saying, listen, yeah. we can do this if we work together. Oh yeah. Has it's, a much it's, stronger it's, it's impact. A, it's a much different, it's a much different interaction. Yes, yeah. So what, what was the passion or what was the uh, impetus towards this? What, what was the you attraction? Know, it, it, it's quite funny. I, I worked in the hospitality industry for okay. about 30 years uh, in some technical and sales roles and uh, just had pushed hard, hard, hard every day for 30 years. Yeah, yeah. And uh, one day it became apparent that I needed to start something fresh. Excellent. And, uh, you know, spoke to the family and spoke to the kids and, yeah. and decided in looking at the history um, that this was something I was always interested in. Yeah. But in looking closely at the history, realized that there was an incredible opportunity in Jamaica. It's, a, it's, it's like a land lost in time. It, yeah. it, it's, it's not had its fair share of exploration. Beautiful. Well, I appreciate you taking the time to talk with us. Yeah. And I love this story because it is uh, keeping it green and helping us move yeah. further, further towards a green future as well. There's a couple of things as well. Yes, tell there's, me. There's right now with the, with the two or three years of work we've done, yeah. the geochem geochemical sampling across the island, uh, we've now built a, a portfolio of 30 exclusive licenses uh, covering almost 2,000 square kilometers. And we're going to start drilling in two weeks on one okay. of the sites. Excellent. And we're going to start uh, a lot of uh, geophysical airborne surveying. Uh, for about a four month period to close upon the best targets. So then when you were maybe look, moving forward then, what's uh, uh, looking for partners, or if you're looking for partners, I, am, I imagine you'd want also that strong commitment towards environment that you know, if yeah. you're considering it, it's going to be the right partner on a lot of levels. And it's not that difficult. There are so many bigger companies, middle tier companies up that 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 not only recognize the need but are actually acting yes. in the way that they speak. So there, there's no shortage of good partners. Good. Well, it should be an exciting year for you, and I'm real excited. Thank you. Thanks so much for your time. Take care. Thank you very right. much. All the best.